In today's video, we will take a look at three HackerOne reports which include how a simplest issue on Reddit was so devastating. Every account on reddit.com was at risk and today we will take a look at how that works. Also, if you want to learn hacking, then check out my course. Link is in the description. So here we go, as promised, we have three different reports, so let's start stripping them apart. This time, we're actually using the normal reports. It says here, text rich text parser vulnerability in scheduled posts allows for XSS. And this is how the summary goes. Basically, the steps to reproduce is create a new scheduled post with a link. Basically, basic put a link here, and this is what you use. Intercept a request with the burp suit or other proxies and replace the link with JavaScript scheme payload. Basically, what he has done here is, as you can see, if you take a look at the U, the T means the text behind the link, and the U means the actual link, which will open once you click on this text, and it's JavaScript alert document cookie. And then you basically have to navigate to the scheduled post to click edit, and actually, if you observe the malicious link, you can click on it and the JavaScript will execute. Okay, so so far, this is just a simple XSS. And if you take a look at who reported, this is Larry Voltage. And this is a quite a familiar face on this channel, because we first things first have covered a lot of his reports. And second of all, we've actually got a chance to interview him on our channel. So if you want to check that out, the link to that interview is in the top right corner. So here is where the frustration begins. And let's take a look at it. Hi, Revoltage. The given proof of concept doesn't work with even hovering or middle click of the mouse. Thanks, H1 analyst Dimitri. And here is, as I've said, where the very, very frustrating part of every, almost every hacking journey, because most of us have experienced this with triers as an H1, says, I will investigate this on, on my VM and let you know about the results. Sorry for the inconvenience. Again, he's a nice guy and he says even sorry for the inconvenience. And then again, the H1 analyst closes this, I mean, says the status of this to you needs more information. And then here's what he comes up with. It seems like this only works in the latest Firefox version. That that's a big clue. And other browsers block JavaScript from executing in the link with target underscore blank. This is an inconsistent behavior as this has changed a lot over the years according to write-ups from other people. So he has actually done research to find out about the browsers this time. So the vulnerability is there. It's just the fact that the H1 analyst is not able to basically execute this at their end to see if this is actually a vulnerability, which obviously it is. And then he basically have retested this on Windows and on the Chrome, and he was basically successful at executing the script with the middle mouse. And then again, the H1 analyst comes in and says, I have tried replicating the given issue on the Chrome and the Chromium browser. However, the scripts get blocked in both cases. And obviously, this is the proof. And here is where the another rabbit hole just begins. Larry Voltage says, perhaps the reason is the OS, since middle click on the mouse can have different functions on Mac OS. Could you try it on Windows? Which is a very good, very good question, honestly. And again, the Dimitri says it is the Windows OS. So it is, again, a little frustrating to have to be actually able to deal all of this. But again, let's see how this plays out. And the lower voltage even says, I'm starting to have less and less ideas on why this is not working at your side. What version are you using? I'm testing this with the version. He provides this. And again, he, the H1 analyst goes and says, I'm also using the same latest version of Chrome. And also the script is getting blocked, as you can see in the screenshot. And obviously, again, shows the version of the Chrome and then shows the screenshot. But one thing I actually don't understand is why this person hasn't tried this on the Firefox. Again, that's something we will never understand. And then the Reddit staff comes here to play. Thanks for the help here. We're working to validate this at our own end. We will update you soon. And the Reddit staff was almost immediately able to basically replicate this issue. And he says, hi, Lara Voltage. I was able to reproduce this with the recent version of Firefox, Chrome, and Chromium installed in Burp. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of frustrating, the fact that the H1 analyst is not able to obviously replicate this. I'm not going to say that the H1 is not full of incompetent people. That's just too harsh, and you should never even consider that. That's not something that I'm trying to imply. But certain people, especially in the H1 analyst community that they have is just awful. Like, honestly, from my own experience, my own experience with H1 analysts, certain H1 analysts was very bad. Like, they were not even able to execute my CSRF exploit even after giving them the link. And the Larry Voltage was, was basically rewarded with $5,000 bounty. And 
to take something to take from this is basically when I spoke to him, he told me that he likes to test new features on programs. So whether it's Reddit, Instagram, or any other hacking that you're doing on any other bug bounty program, you should always want to test new features because it's less crowded. The second report is absolutely mind boggling to me because how the hell did this even happen? Basically, I'm going to have to do some translation for the bad English here, but he says, you are disclosed for me your session. Wow. Interesting. Oh, wow. You are gavey me your session in the last report. This looks like funniest report series of mine, but no, this is actually a very, very big issue because to summarize, hacker one staff basically left their cookie in the report and it was disclosed and this hacker found that out and wrote the report and he says he found basically that you can use that cookie to do anything he found that he can edit a private program and basically you can and then the hacker one staff comes in and says in what report was this basically token disclosed and he gives you know it's here and then if you need proof i can write a message now let me tell you let me tell you something this is very important do not do that if you find a cookie that somebody has leaked never ever try to use that cookie i mean you can verify it but always report it because you are then stepping over the safe harbor you can verify the cookie but sending a message is where you cross the line unless they give you explicit permission to see if what you can do with the cookie then it's fine but this it's a big no-no and then he says can you check if it's still working and then fixed it's not working and then he basically the hacker one staff says that he has asked the appropriate people people on how to deal with this and basically we'll get back soon and long story short he was rewarded with over here twenty thousand dollars in bounty which honestly for this simple vulnerability this was it's a lot and the final report says redirect parameter allows for xss now you might have seen this report on our channel but i'm decided to bring it back to teach you a valuable lesson and he says, hello team, I was tampering with the desk parameter in the accounts.reddit.com and I found out that it's vulnerable to cross-site scripting once the victim performs the login. And here are the steps to reproduce. You basically just en enter the following link, which contains the JavaScript alert document.domain. And basically, as you can see, that executes. Simple as that. And why am I even showing you this? Because it's very important to understand that you might have seen the desk query parameter here and you just, you just assume that people test for it and you would move on. But the thing about it is this was also reported recently. It's 2023. I mean, it's not that recent, but given the fact how many years Reddit has existed, there's probably plenty of people who have checked this parameter. And the point to take from this is sometimes maybe just go ahead and test for stuff that you it might seem obvious. For example, XSS here in the login page might have been obvious. And you probably would have skipped it, but sometimes you you shouldn't do that. At, at least try it. And obviously, this resulted in the easiest 5,000 bounty. Basically, I'm assuming he just wanted to put like, you just put JavaScript and it worked. And he was like, oh, good. Reported it. And boom, 5K. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay responsible. And as always, peace.